I'm going to so unmute. No, if you sign in the a EFC. But now I heard there was going to be a female speaker today. Um, I'm here. Oh, okay. She had it canceled. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. And uh, good morning, everyone. Welcome to EFC. Yay! Good morning. Carlos, if you could sign in without EFC with your own sign in, we'll have less confusion. Just go to the link that Anton sent. Okay, okay. Good morning, Ms. Mr. Carlos. Okay. I'm looking here. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, welcome to EFC. This is Skylines Entrepreneuring for Christ class. For those of us who haven't uh, signed in, please sign in. Thank you. And I know we have a few few uh, visitors today. That's wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. We'd like to start promptly, 1030. We have people on Zoom that will be entering soon. And there's Mr. Carlos. And I'm going to open us in prayer. I'm Kathy Lasota. One of the leaders, we have many leaders that makes this class work. Heavenly Father, I just thank you for your time and your presence and giving us all the goodness that we could ever have here on planet Earth, Lord. I pray for each one of the class members that come in and those on Zoom too, Lord, that we can use words of wisdom that Carlos will be giving us today from you. I know this, Lord. I thank you for the many blessings in my life. And I pray for each one of the families represented here, Lord. You know their woes and their heartaches. I just pray that you just shed miracles into their lives, Lord. And just bless each one of us today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Amen. And with that, we have Mr. Carlos. Well, good morning. Good morning. Hey. Good morning to people on Zoom as well. The list of this seven steps to success. So I got a little handy dandy thing and let's get started. The first thing I recommend is have an idea. Get an idea in your head of trust tenure. Try to get an idea, and then when you have an idea, break it down. Filter through the options, weigh the pros and cons. What makes the idea better than the, uh, the one that's out there already and calculate the cost. Have an idea of what you want to do in business, whatever it is. It could be a product, it could be service, be different. And I want to inject this. <laughs> even a bad idea, even a bad product makes money. Just tell you. In 1976, the pet rock, I was talking to Melissa, made money. Gentleman went to Mexico, got a whole bunch of rocks, put them in his trunk, Tijuana. Came home, Air Pacific Beach, his girlfriend said, look at the pretty rock. She decided to paint them. And now it's a pet rock. <laughs> they sold a million of them in 1976. Even a bad idea makes money. Get your ideas. Number two, once you have an idea, a prototype, create an LLC. Corporation, sole proprietor, get an EIN number. You can do this in many states where they have what they call a registered agent, Delaware, Wyoming. I would advise if you're gonna if your business is gonna be in the cloud or if you're gonna do sales, have a product in a state where you pay no state taxes. That's an idea. And when you develop an LLC, get an EIN number, register agents, and prepare an operating agreement. Have an idea where you're going. An LLC, you got a product, a prototype. You have an LLC, it's looking good. Eugene, thank you. Thank you, Eugene. After the LLC, you want to create a little bank account. See, when you get an LLC or a corporation, they give you the articles of a corporation, you go open up a bank in that name. I recommend get $1,000, do four or five deposits, three or four, Withdrawals, what does that do? It looks like there's activity. Close the books at the end of the month. And now you get a balance sheet. By the way, 
We have people that actually do this. A man that does financials, corporate, corporate finance. These are the things that I recommend. And then of course, get a website. Get a URL that matches the website, that matches the company name. Get a server, GoDaddy does it all for you. Amazon does it. a whole bunch of groups. So you now have a website, you have an LLC or sole proprietor or corporation, and you have an idea, a prototype. You see what's going on here? You're creating a business. You can still work where you're working while you're doing this, while you're developing this. And your apps, your website should be, you know, the platform should be customer friendly. You don't have to have 14 pages, just one, just a presence. If you're gonna sell a product, put on Amazon if you want. But you gotta have a presence up. Oh, someone looks you up on social media, on LinkedIn or Instagram, you at least have a web presence. And that's what they're gonna look for. Here's the one I want to focus on is a pitch deck. What is a pitch deck? It's a PowerPoint that you send out 10, 15 slides about what you're doing. Hey, I have an idea. I have an LLC. I have revenue. I have, I have financials. So when you send this email, a little PowerPoint, you don't need to speak. The PowerPoint speaks for you. And if someone returns an email and says, hey, you know what, I'm interested, hey, you have an idea that they're interested in. The pitch deck is a, something you can email or you can send by text because that's what they want to know. What is your idea? Pet Rock. What is your idea? I have a website. All this is in a pitch deck, a little PowerPoint, 10 slides that does the talking for you. My advice. Put it on text, because people like to do it on text. It's quick and easy. This pitch deck is, you may call it a 30 second elevator pitch, but it's on a digital platform. Your your problem, your problem. The pitch deck should have, what I mentioned to you, it should also have the idea of revenue. Hey, you know what? This year we make $40,000. And projections, within three years, I'm going to project to do a million dollars or 10 years. You want to give the idea that you had that you're going somewhere. It's called structure. When you have structure, when you have structure, you're more believable. And I would advise you always reinnovate yourself. Always sharpen the pitch to 10 seconds. What do you do? I, I sell rocks, pet rock, boom. Simple and easy. And now I want to tell you this, well, I'll get to it in a moment. Evaluate your company, you be honest with yourself. You know what? I think my, my company, I read out my LLC, I authorized myself one million share, and then you say, okay, I issue 10 million share. You get a calculation of what you believe the company is worth, okay? The valuation is important. I believe my company is worth $50 million. Wow. Because if you look at what I'm doing, here are the projections, and here's what you call a critical analysis of what the competitor is doing and why we're better, you need that little edge. Whatever the amount is on your valuation of your company, it, it has to flow. It has to make sense in a 30 second pitch. This is the process, how we're doing it. The valuation is everything. Why is it worth that? And then get a third party to give you a valuation. Someone who is not your buddy, your friend, they can honestly give you a valuation. Maybe another business. And you can pay for people to give you valuation, but here's the problem with that. The problem is, is that if you are in this industry and you pay a third party to give you a valuation and they're not familiar with that industry, they're just gonna make it up. They're going to make it up. And those are the things you have to be conscious of. 
at the end of the day, you're going to start your own company. You can do your own thing. It's going to have structure. Hundred thousand dollars a year company. What is the return? We call that the exit strategy. If I give you a hundred thousand dollars, how do I get my money back? And I just don't want to make my money back. I want to make some more. Well, it's a dividend, right? Hey, we're going to make a million dollars. We're going to pay ten percent in revenue. One, two. It can be a buyout. We're going to get bought out. Three. We're going to IPO this thing. So this is what needs to be said in your pitch deck. And you have to go through the steps. And the steps are really strong. If you do this, you have structure. In my notes, I wrote this down. Here's the issue that we have with business people. Why so many of them fail. CNN News, Fox News, Baseball, Padres, they don't pay your bills. Focus on what you're doing. Get in your lane. Because that's how it's going to work. Give extra of yourself. Remember this. If you're a business person, your time clock is a stock exchange. they are nine hours ahead of you. Decisions have already been made while you were sleeping. What I'm trying to tell you is wake up early. Get the clutter out of your head. Stay focused on what you want to do. Because if you don't do that, it's not going to succeed. A part-time business person, very rare are they going to succeed. The whole idea in business is for you to get in your lane. You talk your business. You dream your business. You speak your business. Speak it to fruition. And the scripture says this. Every morning, Lord, you hear my voice. Every morning I lay my request and wait expectantly. What's that word mean? The issue is you have to dream this. You have to focus this and expect it to happen. And sometimes things happen that are out of your control. That business. Get back in your lane. Don't speak the problem. That is there, solve it as quick as you can and stay focused. Business can take five years to 20 years to succeed. That pitch deck is the entrance to this. Getting someone to listen to, to give you five minutes of your time. Don't babble. Don't babble about politics. Don't babble about church. Don't babble about sport. Stick to your business. That's how it gets done. Reiterate and reiterate because your competitor wants you out. You got to have it in here. They don't want you out. They don't care about your feelings. They don't even care about you. They want you to burn. Business is about helping people and making money. You've got to sell out to this. If you want to get from here to there, at the end of the day, you got to really focus. Get information about what you're doing. Get information about your competitor. Get information about the idea. Get access. Getting access is everything. And you know what? The, the risk of this. What's the risk factor? Right? Risk management. You've got to know these things. Know the numbers. Why are you saying you're going to make a million dollars this year? Oh, because of this, 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 this. It's got to add up. Why are you saying we're going to get it bought out? Because this is the industry that gets bought out. You've got to know these things. Spend time. Lay off the video games. Lay off the gossip channel. And get into what you want to do. Because no one's going to do it for you. And here's another thing. Learn to network. Learn to network. Learn with other entrepreneurs. Because that's the key. If you learn to network, things happen. Doors open. Ask God. Doors open. Don't let the statistics bother you. Well, you know what? This industry, the restaurant business closes every three years. Don't let them. We're different. We have special sauce. 
That's what business is for. And you have firepower in this room. You have people that create LLCs. You have people that can do corporate finance. You can have people that do valuation. It's all it to you to decide what you want to do. When I was in college, when I went to college, I decided not to have a girlfriend. 17, 18. I, I put it aside and I did my study. 68 books. I memorized them. In my industry, I knew my business. I knew what I wanted to do. And when I pitch an investor, and I'm going to tell you about this. Sit and do your emails and do your phone calls because one of them is going to answer. I've been out to 174 investment bankers from Goldman Sachs to the little guys. 100 of them didn't even respond back. I sent them three times. 60 of them told me, go away and never call me back. Now, sorry, unfortunately, we're going to pass on your deal. But today, five of them. Because what happens is, what I understood about investment banking, they have earmarked money. I have money for real estate. I might have money for oil, but I don't have money for your pet rock. But there are some groups out there that are interested in pet rocks. This is why you got to continue. So that money is not for you, but they have this money over here. You got to know that there's somebody out there that will sponsor you, help you, support you. You got to know that. Got to bring somebody to you. When you decide to seek the Lord and lay it out like the scripture says, Wait, what does that word mean? Wait, opportunity. Expect it. You got to expect it. I know this year on Christmas, our leader is going to give me a present. I know that. I expect it. That's how you have to sell your mind here. You have to know it in your mind that it's going to take place. If you're looking for work, that door is going to open. If you want that promotion, that door is going to open. Business is beautiful. It's freedom. Having your own business is freedom. And if you're in a business today and it needs to be modernized, you will do it. You will find a way. Hey, you know what? I'm going to sell this product here. Mine will be better. I may have a business making donuts, but today I'm selling this new day. Innovate yourself. Think you can do it. Most successful business I've done over the age of 67. Isn't that crazy? You may have to go through. Yeah, once you hit that 67 and you continue, you have 40 years of data behind you. You know what not to say. You know what not to do. The best thing I can tell you is stay in the game. Stay in it. Stay in it. God will bring people to you. God will make it happen. Lean into God. Depend on God. Wake up in the morning. Every day. Every day. Wake up in the morning. God, I pray for you. And declare God's blessings on your life. The Bible says that God's blessings are chasing you down. Guess what? They caught me. you got to know this stuff. Get into it. Network with people. Hang around positive people. Get rid of the clutter in your head. You can do it. I believe in you. I support in you. I believe God's heartbeat on entrepreneurs. I believe that. I know we honor the military. We should. I know we honor the police. We should. But I'm telling you, we need to honor entrepreneurs. Because they're the ones that pay the taxes for all that to happen. They're the ones that make that's the, that's the engine. Let's never forget. This country was developed by business, businessmen who said, I can do it. Where they're bound to the head of them, of course. Where there are issues, of course. But you have the ability, for one, you're in America. You have American friends. The land of opportunity, the land of dreams, where dreams come true. The mountain may be before you. I've heard it before, well, Carlos, there's but the mountain in front of you must be God's will. No. I say find somebody on the other side of the mountain to give you a hand. There's always a door opening. 
If the door closes, look for a window. Yes. Find the doorknob. God sends you clues every day. Be alert. Those clues are around us right now. Recognize him, Lord. Teach me to recognize the opportunity. And then if you get a chance that God blesses you, hire your weakness. I am not a good accountant. I had to do what I do. It looked like Mickey Mouse. Can't even really worry about Mickey Mouse. But we have a great accountant. Risk management. I can probably wing it. We have an expert who does risk management. Sales. Yeah, I probably could do it, but I would, I would struggle. We have an expert in sales. You hire people on your weaknesses. If you're going to develop a product, Great. Hire people on part-time basis until they prove themselves. Bring up speed. The whole idea in business is when you network and you ask questions, you'll get an answer. And when you have an answer, you'll realize, hey, this is pretty good. Because how do you know? Problems happen in business. How do you know? You'll have peace. I have set a table before you amongst my enemies. God said this. While you're being sued, while your business is collapsing, I have set a table before you in the midst of your enemy. You're going to be at peace. And when you're at peace, that's God's stamp of approval that I've blessed your business. I've blessed you. Because if those problems don't occur, if that financial collapse does not happen, if that lawsuit does not happen, I'm telling you, the blessings are in disguise in those problems. That's where it's at. Hallelujah. Answers come from problem. Don't run away from them. Run towards the problem. That's where the answers are at. We try to remove the confrontation. No. Look at it from a third-party point of view. Remove your feelings. Hey, I'm, you know, I'm a, we're having a problem financially over here. Huh. Look at it. That's God talking to you. When you look at the problem from a third party point of view, meaning that you are not physically involved, God is. He'll give you the answer. It may take a year from now, five years from now, but I'm telling you, stay in the game. If you get out of the game, guaranteed to have failure. And God's not a man that he should lie. He will be with you every step of the way. When I did my pitch deck, oh my God, that was horrible. It looked like Mickey Mouse. But you bring in people who are experts. Oh my God, it looks good. IT guys, good. And God has people out there ready for you who are looking for you. Isn't that crazy? Looking for me? Go out and today, how easy is it? I can go to Twitter, I can go to Facebook, I can go to Instagram, I can do what? There's millions. The people out there say, does anybody need my services? I'll work for free for one or two months. That's what you look for. You look for those people every day. I'm in an email every day. I'm looking for every single day, seven days a week, I am working. My granddaughter saying, Dad, Papa, why do you wear long sleeve shirts on and you're always dressed up? I'm always on the clock. I'm always on the clock. You'll never. You'll never get me off the clock. Never. I'm committed to see this to go over the finish line. Because it's up to you to decide your business. These are all great tools. The LLC, the sole proprietor, the incorporation, the pitch decks, the valuation, the product. It's all great. But if you don't have the drive, he'll sit there for 40 years. It's up to you. And if you're blessed to have your own business and you want to reinnovate, then dig down. Wake up earlier. Seek God in the morning. You hear my voice in the morning. I lay my request before you. In the morning, I wait expectantly. I expect it to happen. Lie to your brain. Lie to it. No, it's going to happen. The body follows. You'll find the energy. You'll find it. You'll find it on Zoom. You'll find that God will move through you right here, right now. There's people today, right in this room, right now, 
Yeah, the doors go out. Maybe later in the afternoon. I hear that now. On Zoom, they're going public in 90 days because that was a dry. What happened with things? Joe Sizer, what do you say? Nobody. You're the best in there. Hey, I ran out of money. What does that mean? You're the best in there. Nobody's deaf as I am. The worst, that means God is going at a maximum capacity. He wants to bless us. Don't get hung up on the news, the sports. They don't pay your bill. You got to have a drive. You know you're not in it for your pen on your back. You're in it to succeed, and you can do it because God wants you to succeed. He does. A poor person voice is silenced. But having money, where the business is, it's hard to do anything if I can't come up with a hundred dollars. It's very difficult for ten thousand dollars or one million dollars. It's hard to do anything without money. It really is. So it is you and God who have gold, gold. Every person on Zoom, every person today has God has his disposal, and he's like this. What is it you need? Remember, even a bad idea, even a bad product makes money. There's the illegals coming from other countries and make up some gimmick, and they make a million dollars. And they're illegals. Because this is the land of opportunity. Don't get caught up in the politics. Get that out of your head. Stay focused. Wake up early. Lay your plan. I actually laid out my plan for years. Lord, here's my plan. How did that happen? Because God is the ultimate network. Go to God for your source. Go to God. He will put it together. Whatever it is in business, maybe you need a partner in business. Maybe you need a new product. Maybe you need a new thought. Part of business. Don't let anybody tell you you cannot do it. No is not an option. It's not an option. No, it's not. Get, get those negative people out of your life. Craig. So, uh, Carlos, what business do you, are you in and where are you going? Craig, you know what's really crazy? <laughs> About five, six years ago, Jermaine called me. He said, I got this idea. Huh. All right? It's a digital... A digital thing. I said, I like it. You got to build a team around me. I had like, to some contacts. And we build a team around me. You start part-time because you don't have the money. I can't pay people $300,000 a year because that's the work more. But what happens is, as you make the effort, God makes double effort. Somehow, no, that's crazy. And we have hiccups. Our insurance company got physically overturned, took the cables for years, got destroyed. Whatever your insurance company. Remember Jermaine called me. I said, hey, that means there's something better. What? That means when these things happen, remember, something better is going to happen. And it sure did. Software. And if I can tell you something, I would prepare your company for a buyout or to go public. When you have those aspirations, other things begin to trigger in. They begin to trigger in. Because when you want to go for that ultimate prize, things really move forward quickly. There's people here on Zoom who can help you. Don't be afraid. Network. Instead of going to the party on Saturday, network with people. Go to business. Black tie events are free. Go to tips, businesses. Network with people, see what they're doing, how they're doing it. That's how it works. Any questions? They do you. They do you. Thank you. Thank you, Carlos. Okay, we were working. Okay. Thank you, Carlos. Okay, so do we have any questions? If, I know. Uh, Craig just asked one. Anybody have any more questions for, for Carlos this morning about business or contemplating business? 
Okay, here you go. Carlos, what's the uh, biggest thing that prevents people from starting a business? Priorities. When you can prioritize your life, if you're married and have kids, it's very difficult. You're married and have kids, they depend on a weekly check. You need to think about that twice. So I will recommend stay working, develop your business, your business plan while you're still working. And when you create money, create enough money that you're making when you're working somewhere else, and then you win yourself off. If you're a single person, live out of your car. Because this is a land of opportunity. Prioritize your life. What is it that I want to do? My first recommendation, I wake up at four in the morning and talk to God. That's what I do. Half an hour to an hour every day. Body's time. Walk around your house. Maybe five o'clock to your time. But every morning, I prioritize my life. And I put it on him. It's up to God to make this happen. He said, I'll give you the desires of your heart. God will do it. Prioritize your life. And another quick one. What about the fear of failure? You're going to fail. You're going to fail in business. It's a part of being successful. But the failure I'm talking about is not catastrophic where your business closed. Because it does happen. Failure is a part of it. People will disappoint you. People are going to die. God puts people in your life and takes them out of your life. What I recommend, if you have that six month, one year time to start something, I would hit it seven days a week. I would call God on every day, come to church. Church is a good place to go for networking. But now you're not here for that. You're in it for the fellowship. But failure is a part of it. You just deal with it. Work through the problem. There it is. Work through the problem. Yes. Why? You have any questions? I think you. Here. You just have to say, Gene and I were in business for 27 years, and it never occurred to us that we would fail or that we should quit. It just never came to our thought. And there were a lot of times we probably had great reason. We risked our son's uh, college education. Gene quit a good job for resigning from RCA, senior design engineer, to go into business. One day, Gene and I just looked at each other and said, we've made a lot of money for other people. We work for them. About time we did it for ourselves. And we bought a, a business. And there were many times we had the art. We could sit. Hey, we just can't do this anymore. Sure. We saw so many businesses over 27 years in our business come open big front uh, storefronts, locations, stock, and within a year, year and a half, they were gone. But you can never, never think you fail. Correct. You I open your doors every day and you never know what seeds you plant today, you're, the fruit you're going to harvest tomorrow. You never That's just right. stay with it. That's right. I can tell you this. <clears throat> every day I remind myself, brother, that tomorrow will be greater than yesterday. Absolutely. I keep reminding myself every day. It doesn't matter where it's at, how it is, what news comes over the wire, doesn't matter. Tomorrow will be greater than yesterday. That's my answer. Anyway, that's, I'm going to thank you very much. God bless you. And next week we have Jackie Church, your show. Okay, well, thank you very much, Carlos. I, I'm inspired. Oh my gosh, I better get the dust off my shoes. Okay. Um, next month, next Sunday is Mother's Day. Yay! So guess what? We get a day off, but church will still be here. We have still have big church, but no entrepreneur. Following Sunday, which is in two weeks, we're going to have. <laughs> okay, so we're going to work on that. Okay. No, we have to do it. Okay. Anyhow, thank you everyone. We're sorry Ashley couldn't be here this morning.
and uh, but she will be back if not in June, definitely July. In two weeks, we have what? What do we have? Girls? In two weeks, we have Anton. Speaking of Anton is our IT person, and he's probably one of the best ones to question and QA about anything on the concerning the internet. And uh, three weeks from now, who do we have? Craig and, and three weeks we have Craig. And, Yay! and, I, and hopefully, we'll, hopefully we'll know his topic shortly. His topic is the basics of contracts. Oh, the basics yeah. of contracts. I like Whoa. it. That's good. That's really, that's uh, business law 101. Business law 101. There you go. That's good. That's good. That's good. Okay, let's close in prayer. And any um, concerns? Or praises. Carlos did a great job. Give him a big hand. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Emily Fowler, I thank you for our, our camaraderie here and uh, fellowship, Lord. I pray for the leaders in this church and this classroom, Lord. I thank you for all the goodness that you give us each day. Just bless each one of us as we spend our day accordingly, Lord. Um, with your loved ones. I just pray for those that are unsaved or seeking you, Lord, that their eyes will be opened and that you'll just show them the path, Lord, because I know you have angels around each one of us ready and willing to assist us. And I just pray that we keep our eyes on you, Lord. And, and I pray that we read our Bible, Lord, and that we just stay in the word and memorize scripture too. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.